Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, August 16th. As per to some of the comments, only four, but everybody uh, basically voiced their opinion. I will be do showing off both, the, not in this video, the Reanimator and the Epic Godzilla collection. Um, but for the Reanimator, I am not going to show the t-shirts because that will make this video even longer. What I'll do is I will post the video of my huge horror uh, shirt collection down below. So there's only one missing that I got a week and a half after I did that video, but it's basically up to date. Um, so first thing I'm going to show, I know everybody's seen the poster, but I'm going to take my tripod off here, but there's the poster. But of course I have the one I got from, um, Fright Crate, and then up there I have a Bride of Reanimator poster. I'm keeping my eye out for a Beyond Reanimator poster. Gotta make sure this doesn't go all wobbly so you don't get seasick while watching my video. Yeah, seasick. Mm -hmm. So the couple of things I'm gonna show, the first thing I got from Cavity Colors, and the minute this got in stock, I was like, I gotta buy it, and it's the uh, Cavity Colors Presents Reagent Soy Wax Candle, and uh, guaranteed to bring you back to life. It's like a weird, weird, <laughs> I call everything weird, kind of a citrusy smell, and that's my kind of smell too, so there's my candle. <laughs> Um, and also from Cavity Colors are my Herbert West pins. I have this one. And I have this one, which I think is my favorite. I don't have them on my uh, Elvira purse because I did have this one and a couple others. Shit. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? He ran away. Did he run away? Oh, I found him. <laughs> Yikes. I had him on my purse, but then it kept falling off, and I was like, no, 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 no. Because <laughs> these are some of the pins. A lot of my horror-themed pins are just put away for now, because I I don't want to put them on that Elvira purse I have from uh, Creepsville, zik, sik, bleh, Creepsville 666. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. <laughs> and then from... Forever Midnight, I got theirs. Um, yeah, because I really, I wasn't going to get this, and I thought, well, why not? It's Reanimator. It's just the, the coffin with the, um, the syringe with the uh, reagent in it. But I don't really want to take it off, because then you get everybody. You get my boy, Jeffrey Combs. You get Bruce Abbott, Barbara Crampton, uh, David Gale, uh, Robert Sampson. You get all the other undeads, like at the end of the movie. So, yeah, there's my Forever Midnight uh, pin from for Reanimator. <laughs> and, yeah, I was thinking, should I show them, should I not? But why not? I have got the three soundtracks, of course. I'm probably one of the... I, I have gone on record so many times that Psycho is my favorite horror film of all time. And unlike some other people who thought uh, Richard Band's score was a ripoff... I thought of it as an homage. It's a great fucking homage. And actually, it's the main title. And it's the only part that's an homage to Psycho. But the whole the whole uh, score to this movie is awesome. I've got a lot of um, Richard Band's music. Other than Ran... And motherfucker. I can say that word, but <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. But I have his score from From Beyond, which is my favorite score he's done. And I've also got Dr. Mordred. And then there's the uh, Bride of Reanimator, which is okay. It's kind of rehashing a lot of Reanimator, but I was like, ah, fuck it. Some new stuff, some good stuff, and some that I actually didn't care about, but screw it. And then I have uh, Beyond Reanimator, which is a different um, composer, but um, let's see. Eight, uh, the, the last track on it the, is Richard band so I can't talk but yeah I love that cover <laughs> now onto the DVDs and blu-rays I have multiples of the first film because um, I'm nuts like that I have the uh, really cool elite entertainment millennium edition 
Blue, blue. There we go. <laughs> Millennium Edition, that's all in green, which I really like. Then you got Scene Index, Disc 1, and then Disc 2. I wasn't going to get this, and I thought, well, I found it for, like, less than 15 bucks on eBay for a good... And no shipping, like, or, yeah, free shipping, but, yeah, I was like, what the hell? So, and then uh, this one I love. It is damaged because it is a used one, but I got the Anchor Bay one with the syringe. So, I will take it out so I can show you the DVD and the syringe. I won't put it back together on the video because it takes a while. So there's the box. And then the syringe. Oop. I think it still works. I haven't tested it. So you see a little bit of the green. That would be cool. So, And then... This one has a shitload of special features. This is basically, um, I think, is this Anchor Bay as well? No, okay. And then you got, for some reason, I've never liked that poster. I like that one, needless to say. And then, come on, the scene and index there. And then you got disc one and then disc two with the uh, 76 minutes uh, or 70 minutes sorry featurette of reanimator resurrects so, and basically it's all the same with the uh, blu-ray I actually changed out my um, cover not my cover my case of the Incredible Hulk for this because I thought it would work better on this even though the Hulk is green I thought no, it works better. And I took a picture of it and showed it on Twitter to Jeffrey Holmes, Barbara Crampton, and Stuart Gordon, and they all loved it. They thought it was really cool. So it, you just have the one DVD, and this one's by Imagine Entertainment. So, with the same, same uh, special features, too. Now this, because at the time, Bride of Reanimator wasn't out on Blu-ray, I got the very, I don't know if it's out of print now, it might be, but the German Steelbook with Reanimator 1 and 2. The only downer of this, it does play the movies, but the special features are locked. That is the big downer for me. And I, I liked how the, the slip matched the cover. And there's the back and right there. But yeah, um, that's happened to me a few times where I've bought a Blu-ray from the UK or the Region 2 kind, and it's come to me, it works fine, but the special features will not play because I like watching my special features. So, this one, oh, I was so disappointed. I, not in the movie, but for the fact that it was region locked because I checked numerous times on blu-ray.com because this is an Australian blu-ray and it came to me and I tried it and it was locked and I was like oh well thank god it was free and it's uh, the Umbrella Entertainment Region 4 am I right well it says Region B but it came from the UK uh, blu-ray with the uh, Intel Grell cut I don't know what that is but Oh, oh no! Never mind. <laughs> My bad. There's the uh, the Blu-ray itself. I don't know, but I'm. I think I'm gonna keep it because it, essentially it was free. And of course, the Anchor Bay one. So now I have since Anchor Bay brought out this one, Bride. I have high hopes for Beyond. I know not a lot of people like beyond but uh, I do I like all three of them so there's the uh, graphic novel booklet which is basically the movie <laughs> on graphic novel and then this one has the integral version I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's me what do you expect I can't 
I don't speak English. English is my second language. What is that? Something fell. And of course, I know everybody's done their videos of this, but who cares? <gasps> With the booklet, just like the poster, which I love. And then just that. And it's just a big write-up, like film contents about the transfer, all that. So, yep, that's that one. And then you got like postcards. And then it has that. I'm tempted to put some of these on my wall, but I don't know where. Because <laughs> I'm running completely out of room on my wall. And then, oh, I showed that one already. And there's the reagent. And there's Dan and Meg. But where's and then there's the back and the front and you open it up and it looks like that nice set I'm very impressed with this I have yet to watch it I don't know when I'm gonna get to watch it because like next Tuesday I go on holidays so I'm bringing my laptop but uh, I don't think I'm gonna take anything I just want to go on the internet now moving on to bride I had another DVD copy but it was actually a shit copy so I just got rid of it but I kept the pioneer special edition well I like this edition I think and plus it was only $18 so and if you haven't have this one or the arrow video I recommend the commentary with Jeffrey Combs and Bruce Abbott it is fucking hysterical that's why I kind of wish Jeffrey could be in a comedy because he is just so funny in these commentaries for anything, particularly um, from beyond. So there's the DVD. There go. And then, of course, the uh, beautiful Arrow video uh, three disc one. I jumped, I jumped on it right away. I was like, I am so getting it. And this one is also a graphic novel, but it's in black and white, where, where as opposed to the other one was color. Put you there. And then there's the front, the back. I love the fact it has the bat there. And there's the little booklet. And the other booklet, and you got the bride, which I didn't realize until later when I looked it up, that this is the girl from Halloween 4. And then you have the little write-up. I'm trying to just go to the beginning. About the transfer and all that, so. And if I, oh, tongue. <laughs> I'm a dirty person. <laughs> and there's him and the bride. What's her name? It was the, she was the sheriff's daughter in Halloween 4. So. There's that. And then the Blu-ray is. Woo! <laughs> so. Put this all back together. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful set. I love that set. Then, the only two copies I have of Beyond Reanimator, I have ours from uh, Lionsgate. I didn't read the special features uh, perfectly, so, but it's basically, you get nothing. You just get the disc. But, uh, um, I didn't read it where it said, um, director's commentary, making of feature at music video, trailers, and that. So, I didn't read that. I went and bought the Region 2 one from uh, Fantastic Factory. But it's an Arrow Video one. I'm, I just meant that. And this um, is a reversible cover art. I didn't really care for the reversible one. Like, that. I like that a lot better. I know not a lot of people like this movie, but um, I loved it. Because he hadn't played the character since 89. And... Uh, so, uh, not 19, 2003, basically 15 years later, and I was like, oh, it, it was like um, Jeff Bridges' is Tron, um, 
Kevin Flynn and of course Arnie as the Terminator. It was just like putting on an old pair of, of shoes. It just slipped into it, and he never. It was just so awesome. I like kind of like his performance a little bit more in Beyond. I don't know why, but I love all the reanimated films, as you can see my ultimate collection. So please, Arrow Video, if by chance you watch this collection overview, which I probably doubt it, please bring out Beyond Reanimator. So I've already asked them, and they said never say never. So I'm, I'm hoping for it. And also, I should have showed. Behind there is my reaction, my reaction figure. Um, I finally broke down and bought that, even though he cost me a shitload of money. He cost me like fifty bucks, which is a little more than what I would pay for a figure that big. But I mean, it's Herbert West, so. And I'm hoping now that they've had, they got the. Uh, Carrie one and they've got the Norman Bates Funko Pops coming. I'm hoping maybe they'll get their ass in gear and do a Herbert West one. I would love that. It would just be awesome. So yeah guys, that is my re oh excuse me. Hiccup <laughs> and burp. Sorry, my bad. My reanimator collection overview. Like I said, oh man. I need a drink. I need some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Because I'm officially on vacation. Ah! but not leave until Tuesday. Um, I will po post a link to my uh, collection overview of my horror shirts down below so you can go through that uh, to see the reanimator ones. It was better than trying to dig them all out because they're kind of all over the place because these are really all I wear during uh, summer. So, Okay guys, so let me know what you think and uh, yeah, what's your favorite reanimator film? Uh, probably the first one which everybody picks. Um, like myself included. Um, let me know what's your favorite moment or whatever. Just let me know what you love about the Reanimator franchise. So yeah, my next video will be the overview of the big guy. I won't show the posters because I've shown them in a couple of videos, but it is the Godzilla King of the Monsters, the 56 American version, and of course Godzilla 2000. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that video tomorrow or when I have enough time. So until then guys, I hope you all have a good night, watch a shitload of movies, and of course, as always, like, comment, please subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.